Yo guys, what's going on? Tenebris here. Welcome back to another video, and today we're playing on Bad Lion. I know a lot of you guys have been kind of getting sick of the Rank Skywars videos, so we're going to be playing on Bad Lion for today. Um, so I hope everyone enjoys this kind of throwback to Pop PvP. I know a lot of a lot of you guys have subbed for Pop PvP, so I'm going to try to put some Pop PvP uh, gameplay in the background in some of these commentary videos when I can. Anyways guys, hope everyone enjoys, and let's get right into the video. Okay, so today I'm going to be talking about machine learning anti-cheats. So I've seen a few people, you know, here and there try to say that machine learning anti-cheats are something that, you know, most servers are going to need to have. And I'm going to explain exactly why that's not the case and why people really misunderstand and misuse the term machine learning. And and, and this all really stems from a spigot post. This guy named Consolas, he, I believe he's a developer of AAC, um, made this post called Machine Learning Killer Art Detection, where he showed a an anti-cheat that came can quote unquote learn that someone's using killer based on sets of data, which I am not skeptical of. However, I have talked to a few developers and they personally have to, like actual developer, like people who have coded, you know, a lot of things in, the, in this community and people who know what they're talking about generally. And they, they seem to think that um, what he's actually showing off is something that's hard coded and isn't actually as much machine learning as he might be saying. Now, this is not my opinion. This is the opinion of the developers I'm talking to. So don't try to confuse my or conflate our two opinions together. They're completely different. But anyways, I'm going to explain a little bit about why people are kind of misusing this terminology and why it's not really as useful as people might think are it, it, it would be in a situation such as Minecraft. Okay, so first of all, you have to understand that the data sets that are being sent to the server are in 50 millisecond chunks, which means that any sort of statistical analysis or like low level statistical analysis you want to do on the player's data will not work. For example, here's a post from Archibot where he shows that th there's a huge difference in the um, in the data sets between 100 TPS and, and you know, 20 TPS, because in 20 TPS, the data sets are 50 MS, but 100 TPS, the data sets are 10 MS. And you can do a lot more statistical analysis the smaller the data sets are. So if the data sets are, you know, 1 MS, then you're able to, you know, see a lot more. And I'm not saying you can't do any statistical analysis with tw uh, 50 MS uh, chunks of data, but it's going to be very difficult. So now where does this tie into machine learning? So um, machine learning anti-cheats, as they like to say, are anti-cheats which can learn from a set of data from moderators who have banned players, right? Now, these certain quirks that they're probably learning about could easily be replicated by a, you know, a human hard coding the anti-cheat in to detect certain things. And in my opinion, it's much easier and a lot more effective to hard code an anti-cheat because no not only do most of these clients work ver in very similar ways, like I'm not even kidding, like 95% of the clients out there are copy pasted directly from other clients. So if you end up patching one a hard coding, like hard coding uh, by patching one, you basically end up patching the rest. Now, another issue is what is the data you're actually going to be learning off of? So if you're learning off of moderator bands, this is completely and utterly useless against ghost clients. A machine learning anti-cheat will not learn how to detect aim assist just based off moderator actions. It's completely impossible. So that means that there's no set of data that this anti-cheat can learn from, which renders it completely useless in learning what a ghost client is. Now, this is a very, very important thing. And the thing is, is that this, you know, this may work. This type of thing may work for, you know, servers with a lot of, like, a lot of data. Like, for example, Hypixel, which, you know, was taking in thousands and maybe hundreds of thousands of players' data at once continuously an analyzing it, right? That's a very large strain on the server, and it would be much easier for a bot to look at certain quirks in the data to try to identify new hacks. That I understand. However, that's not going to let you detect a lot of the more low-level hacks where, you know, the, the quirks that you're going to be looking at or detecting will not be detected because it will require a human input for it to learn what's the difference between, you know, a legit player and someone using aim assist, for example. But then you might say, oh, why don't the admin just go out and, you know, train the anti-cheat? It's much, much more efficient for the admins to actually look at the data themselves and hard code an anti-cheat check that, for an example, detect aim assist. It's much easier for them to hard code it than, you know, rely on, on a machine. It's probably a lot more accurate for them to hard code it as well. Pretty much what I'm trying to say, guys, is that 50 MS ticks are way too poor of sample size to, you know, have something that a bot can do that, a, that a, you know, a human can't do better, right? It's not really something that's useful. 
it really isn't. The only time I would find it to be useful is if they want to analyze, you know, huge amounts of data at once. Not very accurately, but they want to analyze data at once. I, I, I really think that a lot of people are just putting, you know, machine learning as a branding. I, I saw a few people on Spigot MC trying to put machine learning in the title to try to justify that, you know, uh, trying to say that their anti sheet is better. Honestly, just stop make, saying that it's machine learning, if anything, makes it worse. <laughs> Anyways, hope everyone enjoyed, and I'll see you all later. Peace out.